Hey guys, welcome to Redcore Fitness. I'm Paul Mitchell, and I just want to take a minute to explain a few things about metabolism because most of the people who come to Redcore Fitness are experiencing some issues with their metabolism in some way. It could be a loss of energy, it could be weight gain, an inability to lose weight, it could be hormonal dysfunction, it could be a number of things related ultimately to your metabolism. Now, one of the myths in my 40 plus years of being a trainer and a metabolic specialist, nutrition coach, all of that stuff, all of that put together is giving me sort of a unique understanding of metabolism. And one of the great myths out there is this notion of fast metabolism versus slow metabolism and what that means to speed it up or slow it down. Let me give you a little example of what I'm talking about. When people come to us, they're generally coming to us for weight loss, uh, you know, energy, performance, stuff like that. Whether your metabolism is fast or slow really is not the issue. There are people who are born with a fast metabolism and there are people who are born with a slow metabolism. That is generally the way it's going to be forever, whichever one it is. The key though is, is it performing, whether fast or slow, efficiently or not? If it's performing efficiently, when you take in foods, macronutrients, micronutrients, you will digest them better. When you digest them, the body will digest these things and break you know, proteins into amino acids, fats down into fatty acids, carbs down into glucose, and that will then go to the liver. And when it goes to the liver, the liver will do a great job of neutralizing or making it sterile and usable, really usable for the body to use. It will, the liver will then send it through the bloodstream and ultimately it'll get to over 100 trillion cells in the human body and be able to be used. And once it gets to the cells of your body, you will get energy. The body will perform the way it wants to. If you ask it to build muscle, it will build muscle. When you ask it to lose weight, it will lose weight because ultimately the cell is getting what it needs. But conversely, if the body is performing inefficiently, again, whether it's a fast metabolism or a slow metabolism performing inefficiently, what will happen? I will eat foods. The body will try to break them down. It may or may not do that well. When I digest foods, what will happen is you might experience gas. You might experience acid reflux. You might experience excessive belching. You might experience foul smelling odors coming in from you. You might experience an, a bloating feeling that you always had. That means that there is some issue somewhere in the digestive process that is preventing you from achieving all of those things. There's a digestion problem. If there's a digestion problem, there's no doubt that there could be a liver problem. And again, doing what it's supposed to do, the liver is supposed to clean things out, sterilize it, and send it on its way, send things on its way through the bloodstream to the blood cells. But if that isn't happening and the body sends these toxins that we always talk about, toxins to the cells, then you will experience poor cellular function. And with poor cellular function, you will experience a lack of energy. You will be more fatigued. You will experience weight gain. It will be more difficult to lose weight. You will experience difficulties with hormones, your thyroid, your insulin reception, poor oxygen availability. So when you even go up flights of stairs, you will feel more fatigued than you know you should be simply because the oxygen can't get into the cells the way it's supposed to. All of this will happen, again, regardless of whether you have a fast or slow metabolism. The key is, is your metabolism working efficiently or inefficiently? That's what we can help you with and figure out. We use that when we come to the success session by using a metabolic questionnaire among some other tools to sit down and figure out what is the root cause of your issue. Once we figure out the root cause of your issue, then we can solve that issue even within a group class. I look forward to speaking with you one-on-one. -on -one. Please feel free to email me, call me, or see me when you're here, and I'll be glad to schedule you for your success session. Talk to you soon. Paul Mitchell.